What's up, Conroe High? Today is Tuesday, September 24th. I'm Hudson. And I'm Johnny. In today's show, we'll be talking about the new Amazon facility coming to Conroe and Hispanic Heritage Month. So stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. Now for our story, we have a new Amazon delivery facility that is preparing to open in Porter. While the exact date of the opening is unclear, it is expected to open soon, said by Kara Hill, a spokesperson for Amazon. While this seems small, this will be a huge benefit with bringing new job openings and being a new central hub in Montgomery, allowing for faster shipping. It was previously reported that the station would create over 300 full-time jobs, which come at a good pay, wage, and Amazon benefits. If packages aren't your thing, Maybe people are. Hispanic, Hispanic Heritage Month is marked annually at, in the United States from September 15th to October 15th. This national celebration began in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week. It was expanded to cover an entire month in 1988. The ob observance honors the history, cultures, and the contributions of Hispanic and Latin American communities. This includes those, who, those whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and the Central and South America. We'll now take you to a quick commercial break. Let me explain what's game time. We have guess that song, finish the song, uh, family feud, maybe more games. I just forget the whole game, but if you want to join with your friends, tell you and your friends, scan that QR card right there and join the next game time. Conroe. I'm Ava, here with the weather. Today, there will be afternoon thunderstorms, high of 90 and a low of 70. Tomorrow, it will be partially cloudy with a high of 89 and a low of 65. Thursday, it will be sunny with a high of 87 and a low of 62. On Friday, it will also be sunny with a high of 87 and a low of 64. Lastly, Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high of 87 and a low of 65. And the fun fact of the day, did you know that you can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from over two miles away? Their hearts alone can weigh close to 400 pounds. Now let's take a close look at our special segments for today. Today we are here with Mr. Sneed and want to congratulate him on winning Teacher of the Week. Thank you, thank, thank you very much. This I just greatly appreciate it. And may we ask you some questions? Yeah, yes, go for it. What motivates you to come to school every day? Uh, honestly, I, just, I, I love teaching. It was not a profession I originally planned for myself, but I have very much grown into it. I love what I do. I love my students. I love getting better at it. I love my coworkers. I just, this is a highly fulfilling field of work for me. Today we are here with John, the student that nominated Mr. Sneed for Teacher of the Week. Can we ask you some questions? Yeah, man. Okay. What made you want to nominate Mr. Sneed? Why'd I do it? Um, I did it because he's a really nice person. He's really, like, easy to get along with, I think. Would you like to say anything to John, the student that nominated you? Uh, yes, actually. Thank you, John. This is very much appreciated from you. Uh, I look forward to sharing with you in person how much this means to me, but this, this, is, this is actually pretty awesome. I was not expecting this from you, but yeah, that this, th thank you so much. What's your favorite thing about him? Um, he's just funny, you know? Like, he lets you, you know, talk about him. And, you know, it's funny. It's just funny. <laughs> Thank you for spending your time with us. Yeah, of course. What's your favorite thing about being a teacher? My favorite thing about being a teacher is actually how, uh, in working with my students, I feel like I, as a person, have grown more accountable, more careful, uh, more considerate, more sympathetic, empathetic. Uh, I've become. I've, I've started to hold myself to a higher standard since becoming a teacher. Um, yeah, I, I feel like overall it's allowed me to grow into a, well, grow personally into a much better variation of myself. 
Mr. Sneed, thank you for spending your time with us today. Of course, thank you guys. Take one more quick break. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> you going great? Hey, I'm Mr. Harden. I want to be assistant principal. Uh, hey, just, just step on. Uh, we got a lot of traffic going on right now and what have you. And man, the hallways are, we got 5,000 kids here. Will you got guys kindly not congregate in the middle of the hallways and, and uh, walk and talk? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. That, that keeps the hallways clear and, and uh, keep the traffic flowing. Thank you very much. And sick of time! Alex, you're late. Yeah, um, it was crowded in the hallway. I can't get here on time. I'm sorry. Okay, come inside. I'm taking your place. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Justin. What's up, Connor? Hi, I'm Kyle, and today I'll be interviewing Ashley. The more I watch Justin. All right, Justin. Now, for my first question, what are you doing, KTIG? I game time um, produce and I do toast for Justin, and that's mostly it. I am the a racial producer and talent. Um, I'm the assistant producer, and I'm also the total recap producer. So I'm responsible for producing this show. Now, what's your favorite memory of being in KTIG? Uh, my favorite memory is definitely going to the Sam Houston State University and touring the media production program. It was a great experience. I guess meeting all the people throughout the year, like I guess all the seniors you meet, for, like just for that one year, and then next year they're gone. My favorite would have to be like last year, we um stole food from your book like eggs and uh, pancakes, and we had like a water fight in the hallway. Now, what's your favorite part about being in KTIG? Mm, probably have to be just talk to the student body. Uh, my favorite part about being KTIG is definitely getting to collaborate with, you know, other students and, you know, make shows and films and other stuff. It's fun. I guess game time, because, well, it's my first time doing game time producing, but I always think it's fun bringing people to have fun, play the games, and then punish me. I always like seeing their face when they lose. But, yeah. yeah, I do too. Thanks, thanks for the interview, Justin. We're going to head back to the studio now. Make sure to tune in to all our upcoming shows this week. Tomorrow, we'll have a new episode of Cooking with Culinary. Then on thurs Thursday, we'll have another episode of Total Re Recap. And we'll have an episode of KTIG on Friday. Also, CXS, remember to walk and talk and stay to the right. Thanks for tuning into today's episode of Total Recap. Make sure to keep up uh, with us on Instagram, KTIG News, or on our website at KTIGnews.com. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of KTIG's shows. Remember, CX shows. All, All Tigers, tigers achieve. achieve.